Namaste beautiful yogis. Um, today I wanted to quickly uh, share uh, my tips on how to avoid and prevent stretch marks uh, during pregnancy or weight loss or weight gain. Um, my tips and what I did to prevent stretch marks during my pregnancy. Now I did um, I'm three weeks postpartum and I wanted to wait and see if what I did worked. I was pretty sure that that's the best thing to do. Uh, but you still don't have any guarantees um, <clears throat> as far as uh, pregnancy goes and if you get stretch marks that's fine I have to say that I do have stretch marks from uh, from my teenage years probably from some weight gain or weight loss that I don't even remember getting them but I do have stretch marks kind of I have stretch marks here and along my booty but um, they're pretty faded but they're there and they don't bother me um, because they're just part of how I am or how part of my body uh, but if you can prevent or minimize some stretch marks during your pregnancy I know it will put a lot of girls at ease um, so those are my tips if you get them no big deal they're just natural natural part of pregnancy and they're okay you're beautiful with or without stretch marks that being said I have a few tips of how to prevent or minimize them from happening um, now, <clears throat> during your pregnancy, of course, one of the most important things is drink, drink water. Don't skip on your water because uh, I know that some people can get stretch marks overnight. Uh, so just drink water every single day. Keep your skin hydrated. That's the most important tip. Drink a lot of water, over two liters a day, more than two liters a day. If it's cold, drink teas, drink uh, nettle tea. Um, moringa tea, cinnamon, um, cinnamon tea towards oh, the very end of the pregnancy, so no cinnamon tea during the pregnancy, but ginger tea, um, <clears throat> let's see, um, and some other teas, there's flavored teas that are very delicious and you can add a little bit of nut milk to them and uh, stevia and that will make you drink more. Uh, the next most important tip is drink citrus uh, drinks every single day lemon and lime uh, water every single day it will help with your skin uh, collagen production so drink uh, citrus every single day don't skip on your citrus if you can get good citrus fruits eat as much citrus as you can every single day eat raw every single day cucumbers um, cauliflowers uh, broccoli lettuce um, and all the apples, uh, berries, try to have a lot of berries and all the other fruits, just don't discriminate. Every fruit or veggie counts towards your raw intake. Um, so um, do eat a lot of raw fruits every single day, a lot of steamed and raw vegetables every single day and don't eat junk food. That's the one time in your life when, to, when you want to make sure that what you eat counts. Everything you eat has to be nutritionally dense. So not calorie dense, nutritionally dense. And you will get a lot of calories anyways through proper nutrition. But don't eat empty calories. Don't have uh, cookies, cakes if you can. Um, just start the day with really a lot of fruit. Uh, you can add some um, cacao beans or... Um, peanut powder or some things like this to make it nice and that will satisfy your sweet tooth then for dinner you can have a little more fruit and then follow it with a nice veggie meal with vegetables raw and steamed and cooked vegetables beans some grains maybe millet soup and so forth mung bean soup and so forth so that will uh, um, that will um, make um, that will um, make sure strategy will make sure that you're getting enough nutrition everything you're eating is nutritionally packed nutritionally dense no empty calories because empty calories lead to weight gain because when you eat empty calories your body will be uns not satisfied if you're getting a lot of um, processed uh, flour carbs and if you're getting a lot of bad oils such as uh, oils high in omega-6 and saturated fats your body will still say hey I still want a lot of nutrition so can you have more of that junky food because it's so low in nutrients that I want a lot of it so I can get at least a decent amount of iron so I think that's one of the main reasons why people overeat and eat too much during pregnancies because 
they think okay now is the time for me to splurge and to treat myself so they get they eat muffins and cakes and donuts and stuff but when you eat that you're getting no nutrition your body wants a lot more nutrition than when you're not pregnant so your body will go like how about we get six uh, donuts instead of one because six donuts have some amount of iron and a little bit of calcium in them and one donut has nothing just calories and saturated fats so that's my that's my advice just have real food don't have uh, crappy food because your body and your baby's bodies need real food they you really not treating yourself uh, by having processed junk food um, avoid dairy dairy just causes congestion congestion for baby when uh, she or he is born uh, so avoid dairy have uh, good sources of calcium uh, from greens generally it's a very uh, good source of calcium uh, oranges are a good source of calcium um, add omega trees to your diet from again grains um, flax hemp seed chia seed melons uh, melon seeds i do like melon seeds in in tea form and in milk form i make milk um, not milk from melon seeds it's technically seed milk uh, so uh, the, all those things, the water, the omega-3 to omega-6 ratio, track your omega-3 to omega-6 ratio in chronometer, uh, citrus fruit every day for collagen production and for beautiful skin, uh, citrus water like lemon water, lime water, and add odd certain, some odd things that you can find in your area. Like for me personally, an odd, I would consider this an odd thing, is I uh, am able to uh, buy uh, pure sea buckthorn juice in my neighborhood and and sometimes you can you can order it online I'll link everything below and um, I add water to a third of a cup of sea buckthorn and some stevia and this is really high in omega uh, trees omega nines so we're moving on to topical uh, stuff now uh, for the topical stuff I did use I bought a bunch of oils and I figured I would just use them for the whole nine months and after because you want to continue using it after because now you're shrinking so weight loss uh, can also cause uh, stretch marks not it it's less likely to happen during less lo uh, weight loss but it might happen this is my recommendation uh, I stumbled onto uh, this, uh, nothing that I'm mentioning is, a, is sponsored or anything like this, this is something I stumbled onto. I'll, I'll try to show you how it looks, that's rose hip oil and it's really 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 uh, pigmented. It's, it's loaded with um, antioxidants and vitamin A obviously, um, carotenoids, uh, so basically, topically, Rose hip oil, almond oil, I got one in a glass bottle because I'm using it over an extended period of time, same thing with the black seed oil, if you get it in plastic it's probably okay but if, if you get a big container it will last you a while because uh, you will need it for, uh, uh, for your perineum, to massage your perineum or to use it on your perineal area after birth so you're gonna use a big bottle. Uh, so uh, that also uh, is a good oil and uh, now on to my uh, serums now, you can go to my um, skincare videos and watch my serums the serums that I use because those are the same serums I used on my belly especially during a growth spurt use a serum because the serums are designed to have a nice penetrating properties they really really uh, are able to penetrate into the deeper skin layers, some of them, the well-designed ones, and they help with collagen production. Um, with the oils, vitamin E oil, and just, you can get some of the fancy oils, I have argan and tamano oil. Both of those I used during my pregnancy. The tamano oil smells so good, it smells like a roasted um, nut, so I really loved it. So. Those are a lot of oils and I kept rotating them. I mostly tried to use the rose hip. Uh, so I had an oil kind of put in different locations in the house wherever I tend to sit around. 
so I can put it on my belly. So I used oil once my belly started to get big. I used oil probably twice or three times a day. So don't don't skimp on the oil. Just put oil on your belly whenever you can. Now with the serums, my recommendations are my shell perfect C serum this one is good of course it's great for your face but put a little bit on your belly as well um i always always use the um, lumine uh, serum so this is um uh, bright now visible repair tone uh, corrector so if you are getting certain um, discoloration from the sun and stuff on your belly that works and it's also good for the stretch marks and the time freeze ones are always good i use those for my face and it's just i put some extra on my belly um, and see yourself that's another kind of natural nature's gate vitamin c serum uh, i have other serums that you can uh, just watch my skincare videos and you see the serums that i'm using because all of them are good for your belly uh, lavender oil and a combination oil that you can prepare yourself or buy um, with um, certain oils that are all proven to repair skin for stretch marks and other skin damage with neroli, helichrysum, uh, lavender, rose hip, sage, rosemary, uh, rose otto and um, that's it for this uh, particular combination. I'll link all these products below. I generally tend to order my things online. I've ordered all the all, all the soaps online. I think very few things are bought locally. Maybe the vitamin E I bought locally, but I'll still link it below. And uh, uh, that's about it. So yeah, I didn't get any stretch marks. I think it's mostly due to diet, but uh, you can still put topical uh, things because it just kind of makes you feel better. I have a feeling that um, the topical stuff was probably just 5% of the equation and then how um, um, I nourish my body was 95% of it. Also try not to gain extra amount of weight. That goes with uh, eating no processed stuff, no junk foods, just really, really, really nutritionally dense foods. Uh, that will ensure that you're gaining weight, but you're not getting gaining extra weight. I think I probably gained maybe two to five pounds extra outside of uh, whatever like the pregnancy weight gain was the belly, the placenta, the extra um, um, blood uh, supply, the amniotic fluid and just uh, the increased blood volume and all of that weight. And so I gained, let's see, I normally weigh around 125 um, plus minus five pounds actually uh, so um, plus minus four pounds let's say so I I went up to 140 141 pounds so that's about 20 pounds I gained about 20 pounds I started off probably at 123 or 4 because uh, someone sent me a company sent me a scale right when i got pregnant so i was able to track everything on this kind of fancy scale that measures your um, muscle mass water composition fat and uh, weight so i was using that scale and uh, so i gained about 20 pounds which is on the lower end but i talked to my mom when i got pregnant and she said she only gained 17 pounds 17 pounds with me and I was a very heavy baby. I was almost nine pounds. So um, I figured as long as you're measuring well and your doctor is fine with you, the weight gain is not that important. They didn't, I was actually at first worried and I was asking her, am I okay? Can you measure my belly? And she measured with the tape and she's like, oh yeah, you're gaining, you're right on, on track. Uh, so if you do a lot of nutrition, uh, the water plus the greens will make sure that you're not ever going to have dry skin, which might be part of why um, people get stretch marks, hydration and just uh, internal nourishment of the skin, collagen production and making sure that your skin is not dry from, from your diet. So I've noticed that if I eat a very fatty diet, my skin gets dry and if I eat a lower fat diet, my skin is never dry. Interesting. So pay attention for your, uh, to your nutrition, watch my 
uh, food videos. I, I upload food videos, what I eat and so forth. And, uh, you know, I, I wish you a healthy pregnancy. If you have any questions, post them below. And uh, let me know how your pregnancy goes once your baby arrives. I love, I've been receiving baby photos from all my uh, followers that use my yoga classes. So um, send me your baby photos once your baby comes and I, uh, I love you all. And one more thing, exercise. Do exercise and do yoga during your pregnancy. It will help with uh, circulation and uh, blood circulation and also that helps with stretch marks. That was an important thing that I almost forgot. Uh, namaste.